I wanted to talk about kind of the inner landscape, if we will, uh, um, in kind of like that dimension. Um, it was maybe five years ago, Anderson Cooper had reached out to us to do a thing for 60 minutes. And as part of that, he interviewed this guy, John Kabat-Zinn, who's a mindfulness teacher. And I remember Anderson in the interview at one point said, I've always wanted to live longer. The more present I am during the day, I'm actually living longer. <laughs> you know, like, like I'm extending my moments of life by being present to the, to, I mean, he still wants to we live, you know, as long, but, but there was this thing that Anderson was, was noticing was like, wow, if I live a day and I'm spaced out or angry or upset or internal turmoil, I, I don't feel like I'm actually alive. Uh, and that when I practice certain practices, I actually feel like I, my, I'm extending my life in a different way by kind of moments. And I'm curious if, if, if that area, I know there's only so much any person can study and we don't expect you to be an expert on everything for sure. But I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit more about uh, how you kind of maybe practice some level of mindfulness or appreciation or gratitude or kind of presence with this natural world, amazing world that we live in. Uh, well, thank you for that. Um, it's it's interesting. There are many ways to extend life, um, and that does include in make, include making the most of every day. So I, I agree with that. I live by the the adage uh, carpe diem for sure. Um, though I wasn't very good at it. Um, I think you and Alyssa are, are and everyone listening probably better than I am at realizing that most people go through their lives very rarely being present it's we live in a world where you know what, what well once we used to be able to sit and listen to the birds and the, the bubbling brook now it's it's all noise and our phones have only made things worse and so being really present and hearing smelling appreciating looking at the eyes of the person listening to exactly to what they're saying without thinking what's your answer uh, these are things that need to be relearned um, or, or maybe perhaps learned. I couldn't say if we ever have that innately. And it's something that I have been working on in the really over the past two years. Um, I I'm certainly guilty of being one of these never present people. I managed to get through my life till the age of about 51, 52 even, um, raising a family of three kids, building this career. Uh, pretty much always being distracted and I tend to have a bit of attention uh, focus challenge. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm diagnosed uh, Alyssa or anything, but I do tend to have trouble having a quiet mind and I've been working on that and uh, it's been very difficult. I will say that uh, I'm not giving myself excuses that uh, I'm not doing as well as I should. Um, I will just say that with all that's going on uh, in my little universe, uh, finding time to appreciate the people around me in my my world is is challenging. Now, I'm helped a little bit by the fact that my partner is an expert in health, wellness, spirituality, and and mindfulness. Um, Serena Poon, some of you may have heard of her, and uh, so she's. We, we've been together for two years and she's been helping me with this. So I, I do meditate. Uh, in fact, I went to, Serena whisked me off to Hawaii, uh, surprisingly for my birthday. Um, you know, I found myself on a, on a jet headed to a little island in Hawaii. It was really quite something. And there we were able to do meditation and, and do these kind of practices that I should be doing more often. Now, during the day when I'm not in Hawaii, what I have learned to do is to set an alarm at least once a day. I, I would prefer to do it twice a day where I stop and have 10 minutes of what I'm calling quiet time. Um, turn off my phone, shut my eyes and, uh, and just switch off my brain and, and, and be grateful for what I have. And that's made a big difference. I'm, I'm less stressed. I'm less grumpy. And, uh, but I could do better. I think uh, really practicing true meditation would be something that is my goal. I am signing up for a, a course on meditation um, and enlightenment, and we will see how I do on that. Um, if nothing else, I'll be a, a source of inspiration and 
support for Serena, who uh, is going to join me on that journey.